Showtime guys, what up? Mass Ninja here coming at you live and loud. Today, I am bringing you something I promised two months ago, but hey, still came up, so we're going to be talking about One Piece Stampede for Anime of the M What the? You still here? Don't do your ass out last month. What's with the knife? What's with the getup? I heard. The one piece. The only one piece that is. That gold D. Roger left us just like the last time when you said that you're putting on anime of the month. Oh, it's coming back, you guys. Anime of the month. We're not waiting long next time because this time, good bring back for starters is the one piece. It's Stampede. And if you guys want to get yourself a free copy of this movie, absolutely at the end of this video and we'll pick a lucky window next month and just to state for the record last movie's winner no one answered it so you get two movies for the price of one there's still a free movie out there right so check out the my hero academia review for that answer so with that said raise the flag Dude, we're pirates, not assassins. Put that flag down nicely. It's still, because it's still milk. And raise the flag. Gold Roger, the king of the pirates, attained this and everything else the world had to offer. And his dying words drove countless souls to the seas. You won my treasure? You can have it. I left everything I gathered together in one place. Welcome back, guys. So, like I was, like I was saying, this One Piece movie is... More or less... Oh, level crew of pirates are heading to the greatest party of, of all. The Pirate Festival. It's the festival that hasn't been around for so long, but it's coming back. And the first time it came back, here come the Straw Hat Pirates. For, for a treasure hunt. For the greatest treasure in the world. <laughs> the treasure that we don't know what it is, but apparently it was left by none other than Goldie Roger. And, well, it starts off two years prior with the great prison scape and you see Blackbeard gathering up his crew and they and we're introduced to our main villain and that is Douglas Bullet none other than a, he was the third in command or at least that's what it insinuates he was the third in command for Gold D Roger he was right under Silver's relay and he was locked in impel down you didn't know he was there until the movie, and then all of a sudden you're like, he must be a chump, right? Well, let's talk a little about that. It shows Douglas Bullet, and you're thinking, he can't be that good. But Douglas Bullet, later in the movie, he becomes somebody to be reckoned with. He becomes all-powerful Azobo Man. His devil tree allows him to absorb material and actually build a neck. He can literally make any material what he do, what he wants. With other ones, it's like certain materials, no matter if it's... You know, it, there's only three di type of devil fruits. And usually, you have an element that somebody can create their body out of. You got an element that somebody can command. And you got an element that will change the actual structure of your body, usually to an animal. But all of a sudden, here comes this dude that can literally control all matter. Well, that's all heroes have is, well, in this movie. 
Usopp gets his ass destroyed. Again. <laughs> ah, poor Usopp. Poor Usopp. But, I digress. The, ca the Grand Vista Party, the Treasure Hunt, and just some sick ass anime violent battles. I mean... And also, what is with this guy, Buena Festa? I mean, he's the festival pirate, is what they call him. But why does he... Why does he want to revive something? He, he wants to be the greatest pirate. Why would he do a festival? Because he's jealous of Goldie Roger. Because he started the greatest party in the world. <laughs> it's a hunt. hunt for the One Piece. The pirate era. The biggest thing in the whole entire show. Because... It, Goldie Roger was the biggest thing. But he just comes along, Buena Festa does, and it's like we don't understand in the same piece. It's like, or in the, in the same place, we don't understand, like, what his true motives are. And then he, he says it five times, but you're sitting there like, why would you do that, though? But here comes the one thing you wouldn't think you would see in a One Piece movie, the knock-up stream. Yep. Yep, you got me knocked up. <laughs> Gotta be knocked up. And on top of this knock-up stream, what comes out from under the ocean, it's an island. And lo and behold, that's where the treasure is. That's where that's where gold piece hid this hidden treasure that must be secondary to this, you know, to the whole one piece. It's like, I thought he had one treasure. The treasure to rule them all apparently had more than one. And then everybody starts racing the knock-up stream all the way up to get this treasure... And, and you gotta remember, there's characters like, there's characters like Captain Kid and Killer, his first man. There's Luffy and Zoro, and you know the whole Straw Hat Hat Pirates. And then you know, out of all these people, you know, and they got the whole worst generation in this movie. You know, they have all of them. But then all of a sudden, here comes Trafalgar Law. After everybody thinks everything's good, everything's cool, it's all for one treasure. One treasure that's apparently just as good as One Piece. Here comes Trafalgar Law, beaten to a bloody pulp. Huh. So, without spoiling the movie more, more or less, here is your anime question of the month. For you One Piece fans, what is... Chopper's middle name and his original bounty. Not a lot of people know it. You guys can win a free copy. Remember that. Even if you Google it, which that'd be kind of cheating. But even Google doesn't tell you his middle name. So good luck, guys. And also for legal purposes, this is my personal copy. I bought it. For, bought it. I'm giving it away. Not. Funimation, the proper copyright holders, do not have any rights to this contest. So you guys enjoy it. Have fun. So, let's continue. Well, they're already fighting for the treasure. All these people. There's several warlords. You know, it's, it's a party of the pirates. It's supposed to be a festival that, you know, has been beloved for ages. It was gone for so long. Here it comes back. And now we got even warlords at the party, you know. But Navy is not supposed to be there. But like we said before, Smoker ends up being there because you know Smoker. Smoker, he always wants to find the Luffy Pirates. He always wants to find the Mugidawara Pirates. He's always trying to look for Straw Hat. <clears throat> the thing he doesn't know is it's not just a party for the Pirates. This treasure, this treasure is a real treasure. And then eventually somebody gets this treasure. And they look inside this treasure it's a little tiny wooden chest and they look inside of it and they find something that makes them appalled like I said no spoilers on who finds this box first but a lot of people look inside this box before it tells you and trust me it's just as good as the one piece and it's so bad the Navy needed a buster call a buster call that was oh the Navy shouldn't have known about it you know but and it, hey, now here's the question. Is it Navy or Marines? It's Marines. And they're part of the Navy. 
Yes, well, technically. He blamed the dubs. That's just blame both kids. No, no, it's the it's the Marines of the Navy. And remember, guys, in the Navy. <laughs> and the emphasis, he's a pirate today. I'm a pirate. And trust me, nobody's going to find the One Piece before me. But anyways, <clears throat> so after they find the treasure, Trafalgar Law is wounded. You don't know why. All these things are happening, but there's one thing that always happens. Boom, here comes the main villain, and they're always trying to kick Luffy's ass. Or, let's actually turn that around. Luffy's always trying to kick their ass. Am I right? If you mess up, Luffy's going to kick some ass. Yep, and then, we're going to spoil one thing. There was one scene that this movie made this, but this guy start crying like a bitch boy. There when, was. when he's seen that, he's like to tell him. There's a scene in the beginning where it shows somebody they have a power. They ate a devil fruit that allows them to take any picture or image and they can just touch it. And they can bring that image to life briefly. Just a little bit. And it's fully functional, functioning, but it's only an illusion. And there's a moment where... Sabo has an idea later in the movie and you're not gonna believe who comes back from the dead just for a little bit It's port gas D ace or in America ace D port gas Oh, aka spoiler Goldie Rogers son Goldie Rogers. That's a sport if they're watching this and that hasn't been spoiled you guys need to catch up some so with that said I'm the masked ninja and this has always been Crazy nut guy. Crazy nut guy. Psycho nut. I'm getting anything up. <laughs> Homicidal maniac. You know, I actually cried when the going Mary went down. But I'm about I to know, cry. Me too. I'm, yeah, and I'm about to cry right now because you don't even know my name. Then what is your name? My name is The Unmasked Co host. Lame. You gotta come up with a better name than that boy. Well, you wear a mask, and I don't wear a mask. You're the host, and I'm the co-host, so. I think it works pretty well. They don't need to know my real name. Trust me. My real name would give you spoilers. Okay, Ryabu.